Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to place images, pop them up inside HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express, if you've been following along, is in my opinion, the best free video editor on the market. And why are we doing this? Very simple. For those of you that are just getting started to YouTube, or you're even thinking about becoming a YouTuber, and you want to learn how to video edit, and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you want to learn how to do it free, and you want to get good at it, guys, Freedom's going to help you from step A to step Z, all right, or Z, depending on however the heck you say it. So we're going to take you front to back everything. In this video, again, we're going to show you how to place images. I'm going to show you how to resize them, reposition them, and just the basics of that and how to determine, you know, I mean, how to change how long they're viewable for. So pop up like, yeah, you know, 90s pop up video. Here's an example. I've got uh, some footage here, as you'll see, I've got a background video here of me just getting ready to play League of Legends. And then at the like, eight second mark, this puppy dog who has been talking to, <laughs> has been talking to your customers and he doesn't really understand anything. She's pretty cute. Uh, she pops in. How did I do that? Very simple. Let's go step by step. I'm going to go ahead and delete that image. So I'm just going to right click on it and I'm, we're going to go from the beginning. So I'm going to go left click remove after I've right clicked and then I'm just gonna go over here right click and I am going to remove it okay good so we've got some footage loaded into our timeline the next step is I'm gonna left click on my Explorer here and I've got an image that I want to use let's say we're gonna use the same image left click on the image drag and drop it in here to the media basically into the media window or the media bin depending on what you want to call it all right, good stuff. And you'll see here in the trimmer that we've got a, we've got a picture of her. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, the next step here is an important one is you want to take the playhead and you want to place the playhead basically where you want that image to go. So let's say if I'm at the eight second mark is where I want this image to pop in. So I place the playhead there, left clicking on the puppy dogger's face, and I'm going to drag and drop, but I'm going to drag and drop this into video track Two, and I missed so I'm gonna make sure that it's lined up left aligned to the playhead so at the eight second mark this picture comes in you'll also again see video track 2 that's important because if you drop it onto video track 1 and I'll do that just to show you watch it actually overwrites the footage and we do not want that so I'm gonna hit control Z to undo that but this is a very important thing if you're looking to work with images okay I'm also going to increase the size here so the track's a little bigger so we can see what's going on. And All right, good enough. Okay, so we've got this picture and we've got the dogger in and the dogger comes in at 8 seconds and exits at basically at 11, not 2 and, and 10.30. So it's basically in there for like 2 and a half seconds. Let's go over a few other things. First one, let's say you only want this image in for like 2 seconds. It's a bit too long and you'd only want to see it for a short period of time. What you do is you take the playhead to where you don't want to see the image anymore. So let's say I want it from the 8 second mark to right about here. I'm now going to hover over on the right side or on the right edge there and I'm just going to trim it. So there we go. So now the image, when I hit spacebar, watch, it comes in Minions and it goes out and it's on video track too, like I said. Let's go ahead and look at a few other options. I'm going to go ahead and hover over it, I'm going to left click on it and then you're going to see here it's got some arrows and it's got a blue square. Before I show you what those do, I will let you know that we can go ahead and just move it. So just left click on it like I did there. And then let's say I want to move it to the bottom left of the screen. Something like that. Okay, good enough. You can move it using these red and green arrows, but there's no real point. I'm just going to go ahead and move it the old fashioned way. Now I'm also going to go ahead and show you how to resize it. To resize this image, because let's say it's a little bit too big and you just want it to be small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over top of it, making sure you're selected the image, hover over top of it, and you'll see the square or the blue rectangle up at the top right there. It will get filled in with blue. That basically means that it's now selected and it's live. So I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm just going to decrease the size. So I'm going to say, okay, maybe that's the size that I want the image for this one. So again, just left click on it and just pull it in so that it decreases in size. I'm going to now move that to the bottom left and it's starting to look like something that I want to see. So let's go ahead and see what we got now. Outside, yeah, puppy dog pops in, puppy dog pops out. This is very, very good for those of you that want to increase your production value and for those of you that want to add humor to your videos. By having funny videos and, and images pop up, it can quite, it can keep people interested in your video and increase the amount of time they watch it. And that is a metric that YouTube 
greatly value. So adding in funny stuff like this is very good technique. All right, so we've got them. We've got the puppy dog. We've added them in. We're pretty much cooking. There are a few exceptions. I want to show you one other thing here while I got you. You're going to see over here it says 42.5%. What this basically means is that it's right now it's fit screen. So this is the entire screen. If I want to go ahead and make this, let's say 25%, you'll see here that there's a bunch of uh, outside the box area, so to speak. What you can do is you can increase the size of this. So if I want to just the puppy dog in the shot like this, I change this to 25%. I increase the size, I reposition it, but in order to see this correctly, you need to you need to basically zoom out. So I zoomed out to 25%, but what you need to do, well, that's always it's different for everybody. But in this case, now we've got the puppy dog and that would be the only thing on the shot. So let's go ahead and go back to um, scale to fit. Uh, no, didn't want to do that. Yeah, no, actually I did. That looks just fine. Let's go ahead now and watch. Left click, puppy dog pops up. Minions has spawned back in. I'm going to show you how to animate this and do a few other tricks, add some strokes, add text and stuff like that in a future video, but this is a great way to increase your production value, add some comedy, add some humor to your videos, and again, do it for free. That's all I got for this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.